KMTV Action 3 News Weekend starts now. A group of student athletes are lucky to be back home safely in the metro this evening after a scary ordeal at the Fort Lauderdale International Airport. It's been two days since a gunman opened fire at the Fort Lauderdale Airport, killing five and wounding eight others. 31 UNO swimmers and coaching staff were inside the airport Friday, caught in the chaos. Reporter Joe Kadat was at Epley Airfield this afternoon to meet some of the team as they safely returned home. Some of UNO's swimming and dive team arrived in Omaha this afternoon with sighs of relief. They give this account of the terror inside Fort Lauderdale Airport after a shooting rampage unfolded there Friday. And that was a, uh, a hysteria moment. You know, I didn't hear a shot. Um, doesn't mean there wasn't one, but I couldn't tell why we were running. Um, but we were given instructions um, to run, not to just move patiently to the next terminal that was like you need to run and run now. Women's swim coach Todd Samlin returns to Omaha thankful to bring his team home safely. The loss of those people um, to, and just the, the difficulty that, that veteran had, um, you know, my heart goes out to him and, and the families that are dealing with the loss. I'm dealing with no loss. I'm dealing with an inconvenience. Um, my team is dealing with no loss. They're dealing with an inconvenience. This swimmer says she remembers running as fast as she could into a bathroom with her teammates as they locked themselves inside. I don't even know how to describe it. It was terrifying. I was shaking and I had to sit down. My teammates were around me the whole time trying to support me in. A lot of my a lot of other teammates were a lot more calm in that situation than I was. After being stuck in the Fort Lauderdale airport for more than seven hours with little to no information, Cassandra Yan says it was overwhelming when she realized that everyone was going to be okay. I hadn't cried in the stall, but as soon as I got on the phone with my mom after we got let out of that stall, it was just everything came over me and I was I was calm, but it was it was a weird sense of relief and sad and everything else. The rest of UNO's women's swim team will arrive in the overnight hours into Monday by bus. Reporting live, Joe Kadat, KMTV Action 3 News.